today we're going to be diving, no pun intended, into a brand new indie adventure. A brand new game that recently released and it's got the Steam community going absolutely nuts. Currently sitting at over 33,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews. Welcome to Dave the Diver. This is a game about deep sea exploration and fishing during the day and sushi restaurant management during the night. We'll be joining Dave and his friends to seek and uncover the secrets of the mysterious blue hole. I feel like sometimes there's games I wanna check out, but I don't wanna play fully and I just don't even end up playing them or trying them out. And sometimes, who knows, maybe those are missed opportunities that you guys might actually enjoy a full series, but this will in fact be a one-off video. Wanted to check this game and uh, see what the hype is all about. So sit back, relax, and let's do this. I just wanna say, I think this is a sign. I've been wanting to go on a little beach vacation for, for a couple of weeks now. And I pick up this game and the first thing that happens is Dave on a beach vacation. It's gotta be a sign. Picking our bags, taking a trip. That's right. Seems like Dave just got a business call. No dialogue, but I'm assuming maybe he told him about the sushi restaurant. Here we are drinking some root beer. Oh, this is dope. Like, this is the vibes right now are immaculate. I just have to go ahead and find a Dave the Diver playlist and just kind of vibe to that all day. Amazing. I don't remember where is it that I saw this game first. I think it was... Was it the Game Awards? I know recently, like last month, they released a uh, a trailer or a section in a game show that showed upcoming indie games. And I know this is one of them. I just can't recall what show that was. Could have been that one. Oh. Dave, you got here quickly. So he's Cobra. I'm Dave. Hi, Cobra. Nice to meet you. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know? So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go in. Hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. Oh, so we are a retired deep sea diver. Okay. Nice. All right. How about you try uh, stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. LT, you can move quickly. Remember that the speed, uh, this speeds up oxygen consumption. Ooh. Really? Okay. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the weapon you need in con uh, contingencies. The knife, Dave. 
try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use it by pressing the B button. Small fish. <laughs> I literally got no fish. Well done. Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then... Hmm. Hmm, looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with A and fire with RT. Now try it yourself. Boom! Nice! We got a blue tank. Now see Goldie. And how about one of these? I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. All right, not a bad day. I don't, I, I don't like Cobra's uh, vibe. Okay, I'm just gonna throw that out there. He doesn't have our best interest in all of this. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. That soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, listen up. I have a friend who's, in, uh, who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where, sh where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people would just go nuts for it? Yum. I'm already craving it. I bet. So, uh, why don't you join us in this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All I need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can eat as much sushi as I want. Yeah, sure. Uh, you have to pay them. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant uh, next to the Blue Hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Okay, so press X at the arrow to go to the sushi bar. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Boncho. Are we all ready to open? Uh, as you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Uh, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh, boy. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just a mediocre, as mediocre as I expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. What is happening here? Uh, uh, an earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? Well, in the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guest. Please go and catch seven more fish. 
Oh, and uh, the restaurant's going to be open only in the evening. Hmm. Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with met meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Now this place is banged up. It seems Bonch was really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. Uh, what incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. What I feel like the incident is like somebody probably died, you know, diving here or something. Repair Boncho's sushi, make 100 go, then prepare sushi ingredients. All right, let's go for a dive. Woohoo! All right, back underwater. Here we go. All right, so we've got B. We also have the harpoon. Oh, which we failed. And we failed again. I gotta hold it. Okay, this is embarrassing. Dave, get with the program, bud. I gotta press the right trigger and I keep forgetting that. I don't know why I was forgetting that. Let's see, can we get a little seahorse here? Oh, you can. <laughs> Why'd I even try? That's a good one. Ah. That's another one. Two more. Let's go. One more. I don't want to go too deep. Alright, make 100 gold to repair the sushi restaurant. So diving here is actually beautiful. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, that's a big one. Ooh. What just happened? Oh, you gotta hold the wall. No way. What? That's amazing. Well, I'm gonna grab another one of those. That's gotta be worth something, right? Come here. Oh. Oh, I gotta hold the trigger. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to do that. Oh, hold on. Warning, running out of air. What is this? Alright, now I can redeem myself. Excellent. It's definitely one of those games that just kind of relaxes you. I mean, I, I feel fully relaxed right now. Return to the boat. Let's get out of here. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> or, <laughs> uh, my, uh, my, would you look at the time? Well, we'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Mission completed. All right, so what do we got here? The dive log. Okay, Saturday. Depth of 31 meters, best depth. Caught nine fish caught. Okay. Red tooth tiger, a trigger fish. Sea goldie, yellow tang. Wrap up your day and get things ready. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Okay, so we're heading back to the restaurant. Okay. Let's 
sushi bar. Okay, Perfect. here we go. Boncho. How are the preparations coming along, pal? Mm, I think we're almost set. That's good. <laughs> Used to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're here to help me out and run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? <laughs> I don't understand. Cobra told me that you were, uh, that there would be somebody to help me with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed is to do, uh, all I needed was to cook. And who else is here for that but you? This guy's just like suddenly inviting me to run a restaurant? Like, okay. Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer. So pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Ingredients. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Press B to close the ingredients window. Okay. All right. Now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. Go to the menu. <clears throat> so new recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Okay, register a dish to the menu. Okay, cumber. That probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. How do we do the auto sort? I feel like that's gonna be helpful. Here we go. Mm. Okay. How long are you gonna go and just stand there and talk? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. Okay, so let's go over to Cobra. Pour the right amount. Oh, wow. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Uh, right stick to pour green tea. Just the right amount. No way. Really? That's pretty cool. Customers who uh, drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. That tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Wait until the cooking is done. Yo, he's going at it. He's going at it. Come over here and take this food, Dave. All right, so you can dash when serving food. Use LT to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Oh my god. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Uh, Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused. So we'll have to throw it out now. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Pancho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, alright. So we gotta throw it away. Everything looks about ready. Haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kinda nervous. Don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. So customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes at the menu before the sushi bar opens. Here we 
we go. Oh gosh. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Hello? Hi. Okay. Perfection. Oh gosh. What's happening? Oh my god. Way better than I expect. Oh! Okay, this is getting pretty crazy here. Excellent. Come on, Boncho. We need more. Faster, faster! Oh, I'm tired. Here we go. I'll be right with you guys. Everybody seems to be happy. This is good. Oh my goodness. Business is thriving. What is this? Uh, you won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. What? Okay, good. Uh, today's menu. Manage. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna take it one step at a time. Perfect. This is pretty cool, man. Close for business. Sixty-seven dollars net profit. Today's score is a five-star score. Love it. I like this dude. It's pretty cool. Whew. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not a bad first day. Try a little harder next. Time. But dude, we just got a five-star. Are you kidding me? I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. sort of mysterious giant octopus oh my god and they're dead unless they can breathe underwater with gills that I am not aware about they are dead so Sunday Ooh, Ellie's calling hmm are you the man who's been diving around here yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can I can hear you, you know. Uh, in any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Give me some agar and red starfish first. So he pronounced that agar, agar, agar. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Give me two of each. Your tone uh, makes me want to refuse. I like that Dave's got a little attitude back. You know, like, hey, calm down, girl. You know, you better respect. Hmm. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. Uh, reward? Is it sushi? <laughs> well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't delay. Red ecological data. New content. Smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current mission and more. Game settings can be accessed from the phone. All right, Dave. Here we go. Fire two and two. Not too bad. A starry puffer. Oh, this looks a little different. 
So how do I know where I gotta go? Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. Baseball bat, a light but hardy uh, baseball bat. Has a chance to knock out an enemy uh, and has a powerful charge attack. Okay. Wait, how do I, where's my knife? <laughs> I need my, oh God. Get out of the way. That's good. Oh, is that a lionfish? No, not doing that. Absolutely dangerous. What is this? An escape pod. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first, as the calling process takes some time. God, we're gonna die here. Ah! We died. Dave, this blue giant hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Always pay attention to your oxygen and use the escape pod when you're in danger to get out quickly. I can rescue you if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collected. Oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Hmm. Hmm. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Hmm. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable, who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Ooh, duff. Uh, wow, Cobra. It's been a while. Who's this goofy-looking guy next to you? Uh, sorry. That wasn't the nicest thing to, a str to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. So, what's this about? I've begun a very interesting business. And now I'm in need of some weapons. I need your help. Season two of Strastella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, an equipment found inside breaks down. Any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to take us uh, or make us a weapon that can be used inside. That's rather interesting. You've piqued my interest. As a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break. Especially true of guns, which have precision parts. So you have to get materials from the sea ourselves. Dave, you have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you, just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. Oh my god. So what happened to the other quest? It just completely ran out? Oh, it's still there. I thought I had the water scooter, and I'm like, all right, I got, I got this in the bag. We're good. We're good. And, uh, yeah, that was not the case. We got this here. All right, perfect. Look, off to an incredible start. And every time it's different, which is kind of crazy. Also, I think using the harpoon and trying to catch uh, fish messes stamina, right? Sleepy toy hammer. What in the world? <laughs> okay, escape pod. Ah, okay, that's how that works. Yeah! 
Lionfish are crazy. You gotta be careful with those. Ooh. What is this? A shipwreck? Ooh. We've got an escape pod. So if anything, we could take that up. Underwater scooter. Yes. We still need to get the rope. I don't know where the rope is at. This is crazy. Oh, that's a crazy fish. Oh, my. I'm going really deep here. We've got to be extra careful. A Japanese sword. Starfish. We don't need that. Okay, we're going back. We still haven't found a rope, which is crazy. Where's the other oxygen bag? Perfect. Yeah, we don't have. I don't understand. Where is... Where's the rope here? This is insane. Should we just go up? getting a little crazy. I'm going to take the pod. Let's get out of here. That's not working either. Oh my god. Okay. Good. Alright, so certain fish you can just swipe them with a sword. That's what I thought. Come here. Don't play with me. Shrimp. Escape hide. Okay, I can hang out around here for a sec. Just a sec longer. Okay, okay, we gotta go. Okay, we really gotta go. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's actually terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. Actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. All right, I should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. Sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. All right, we got 70 gold, olive oil, soy sauce. Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then, give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. It's funny how we're like helping out with the restaurant, yet we still have to pay to eat there. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Alright, so... I think this one would be... Yeah. Wrap up your day and get things ready. So this is the diver box. Paint. Oh, cool. You can paint the... Alright, let's get out of here. Off to making sushi. Alright, let's go to the menu. Add some fish. Much needed fish. Uh, where's the auto... I need to do the auto. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. 
I need to do the auto enhance. Not the enhance, the uh Hold on. Sell. Huh, you can sell these things. I still haven't, uh, if I go here, this is pretty cool. So gotta get that rope. All right, let's just open up. Let's get to work. It should be good for business. Now, now we're actually making money, which is great. Hello. How can I help you? Would you like some green tea? Sushi? Perfection. Be right with you, ma'am. Have no fear. Dave is here. Oh, this person actually looks like he tips good. Yeah. I think that's what I said, right? Nice. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Seems like business is thriving today after all. with you, ma'am. Oh, no, Dave. Come on. Hurry it up, Dave. Man, I think we did pretty good today. It's got to be a five star. Did we just redeem ourselves? Come on. Look at that. Not as good as the first day. Really? Okay, well, whatever. Still made a net profit. That's what matters. Monday, Tuesday. Yo. Uh, who are you? Are you Dave by any chance? Dr. Bacon. Yes. What is it, sir? Wow. I'm always right about these things. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization. The sea people civilization. Uh, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Maybe I shouldn't have asked. Wait, what? These are lives and legends. Whoa, whoa. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in depths allowing them to flourish without any concern of invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes on the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's all that there is to the story. Everyone thinks that it's a myth, but of course, proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, and that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure that they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from a known civilization. It's dated to around 15, uh, 1,500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that's interesting. What about business? What business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investment didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like to uh, have your help. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or below the surface. Okay, so we gotta go under 70 meters. So we're actually kind of busy right now with the sushi bar. I don't think we can... Uh... <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course. We, sh we should be able to help you. We'll gladly do so. What? We don't have... 
the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Pancho Sushi will be burst, uh, bursting with the s but at the seams. Sorry. Mm. Reading sucks. We know this. Um, I suppose you have a point. <laughs> All right. So, he's going to upgrade the diving suit for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is an essential thing for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's uh, first install the iDiver app. Okay. Tracking the sea people. The iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment. Upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere to explore deeper waters. Okay. Now then, let me tell you how to use the iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Hmm. Nice diving suit. A diving suit that maintains Dave's temperature underwater. Upgrades makes it less visible to fish. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use the app to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in these waters. I'll be in touch. Traces of the sea people. Okay, so... Can I go here and... Huh. 65. Actually, this... Yes. <laughs> That's much needed with my track record so far. Alright, we gotta find sea people artifacts. And we still gotta find that rope that... Oh, that's a tiger shark. That's not good. Tiger sharks are pretty aggressive. And yeah, they, they recently killed a man in Egypt or something like that. All right, 114.02. That's excellent. <laughs> I'm still in search for a rope. Oh, what is this? Is that it? That's the rope. We got the rope. Okay, we don't have to worry about anything else anymore. Well, obviously our oxygen, but no more items, as long as we don't... We gotta go 70 meters! What is this? Black vinegar. Are you kidding me, dude? Why are these lionfish coming after me? Back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. Uh, uh. What the heck is that? That's. That's. Oh my god. Oh, what was that just now? I'll have to go back to the boat right away. Okay, yes, we, we gotta get out of here, Dave. We're not looking too good. This is not good. Dave, Dave, we gotta get out of here, Dave. Dave? We've got some oxygen in there, Dave. Dave, grab it. Long distance underwater scooter. <clears throat> yes, Dave. You know what, Dave? I think we can do this. Come here. No, oh, God, I suck at this. Why can I not grab these fish? I don't understand. Maybe I gotta upgrade the... Oh, what the heck is that? By the way, the upgrade is phenomenal. The upgrade for the for the oxygen phenomenal. I don't think I can. 
Yeah, I just don't think we could with these fish. Unfortunately. Alright, we got some kelp. Are you kidding me? I'm risking it here. Oh my god! What the heck is that? I'm out! I am out of here. So those things really always fill up your... They fill up your, uh... Your oxygen meter. Jeez. I just, yeah, I think these fish are just too strong. Oh my god. Oh god, please leave me alone! goodness I mean this is sensational news oh come on where's that uh, oxygen bag over here is that an eel oh my god no Forget it. Forget about it. Nice. Ooh. Sleepy toy. <laughs> I gotta read the description of that thing. That's hilarious. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Staying here in the surface just to make sure I don't die. And I'm head. <laughs> what happens? Come here. Get sleepy. Go to sleep. That's that's not gonna work, is it? Should have brought my damn shotgun. Uh, what the heck, man? Leave me alone! Oh my gosh, that's a shark there. I'm getting kind of risky with this, man. slow down if you exceed even higher. Oh god, this is not good. Oh my 
my god! Oh. Hold on. Can I just drop one of these? Go, Dave. Go, 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 Dave. Go, go, go! Alright. I'm done. I'm done risking it. I think that's that was a good a dive as any. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. Seems I've underestimated you. Very well. I'll show you how to make uh, the basic underwater rifle with these materials. Alright, so download the Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. Only 42? Okay. Ooh, nice. <laughs> basic underwater rifle. You've collected all the materials. Good. There's no way they just did that into a cutscene. Oh my god. Okay. Heh. With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Okay. Well, I guess. Yeah. Uh, one more okay. thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open the weapons chest underwater. Ooh. You can bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy. Or you cannot bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy. Oh, but you'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for them. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, Eternity. Ooh. So you can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint, making the weapon craftable. Hmm. What's up, play up? You brought it out safely. Seems to be in very good condition, almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. Hmm. Very interesting. This may be the find of the century. All right, Dave. Let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the Sea People's civilization. What? Thought I'd only be helping you once. Of course! Say no more. Just put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates. That won't be hard to do. It's a very lucky feeling. I've got a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch. It's like every game, every movie, every TV, anything. There's always a Cobra, right? That one guy that just takes advantage of the good guy. And poor Dave just doesn't know how to say no. But honestly, we got some really good stuff here. Hmm. So that, it's amazing. Dave, while you were at sea, the repairs were completed. Let's head to the restaurants. Wow, this looks very nice. <laughs> It doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess! <laughs> ah, if you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open, so please check it out. Honestly, I like the interior, what are you talking about? You can now freely change up the interior of Bacho's Sushi, use the interior tab. As Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of the sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, but uh, the area is kind of remote. I think uh, I will need a way to advertise the store until then. Yeah, these states it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Ah, have you tried the social media app named Cooksta? You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, uh, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. I simply cannot understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the hearts, not photographs. Even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food? Bancho? Mm. You have a point there. Making an account is simple, so let's try it out. Alright, register. Bancho Sushi, done. Oh, 
it's not as complicated as I expected. Mm -hmm. Now, customers uh, happy with your food will follow Macho Sushi. Okay. I'm not sure about this, but okay, I got it. I'll also install the Cooksta app on my phone and check the followers post. All right, so now we're gramming. Raise your rating in Cooksta. More customers will visit and new foods will be unlocked. To unlock uh, the unlock conditions of new ratings can be seen in the Cooksta app. All right, how do I auto sort, man? Why can't I find that? sell that wait menu sell one of these okay let me actually go to interior first huh so it's not that crazy okay I thought it was gonna be like super I don't know Lightwood. We'll go with that for now. Ooh, looking good. All right, let's add some stuff here. Hmm. Excellent. Enhance. Oh, almost. That's fine. Today's menu. So food with a high taste score will increase customer uh, satisfaction. Never stop learning. Let's see, cook stuff. Bunch of sushi bar grand opening. You've never tasted uh, sushi like this before. <laughs> Rank up. Okay. My page. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's looking good. You want to change different styles? Okay, so maybe we ought to just go here. Honestly, and just freaking... I don't know, just... Oh, so there's decorations. Huh, nice. Yo, that's pretty cool. Uh-oh. Who is this? Food inspector? Oh, crap. <laughs> This is Bancho's sushi place, huh? Miss <coughs> Yoshi! I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cooksta. The name gave me pause. But you think it's really your place? New food using, uh... New food using never-before-seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. Uh, Tag the churn of masculine chef. Wow! Uh, do they mention me too? No, not really. In any case, what brings you all the way here? Well, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like uh, yours still the same. Well, there is nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again? That's the customer's fault for judging. The food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way to keep making that terrible food? What do you mean, terrible? Whole roaster shark head is an excellent dish. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea, it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop. You've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then. Whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I came. Fine then. I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. <laughs> Isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I cannot back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please, get me my white tip reef shark head and olive oil. 
You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes. With your skills, it should be easy enough to do. But a harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun. Okay, even so, fighting a shark sounds uh, way too dangerous. Don't you mean... Do you mean to stay... Uh, do you mean to say you'll just stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? The white tip reef, uh, reef shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. Yeah, we actually came across that. Okay. We already made a gun, so we don't need to get a gun. Alright, let's go and... Uh, Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want uh, to research and serve them with customers. Hmm. Okay. You can now research new recipes. Use the uh, artisan's flame to expand your menu. How are we supposed to serve that? We don't... Hmm. <clears throat> we cannot open that. We gotta go dive. Alright, so... Research has been completed. Okay. Gain new cooking inspiration. Increase your cook's degree. Your staff may inform you when they grow. that are here now. So was I supposed to time skip and go to the boat? In order to get the, 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 the shark head, right? we could have done that and then still go now after and, and go looking for the shark and I think to exit we got a five star to exit we just got to walk all the way left let's see hey Dave got the luckiest news you look happy what is it dude I analyzed the artifact you brought me and a large amount of an unknown substance was detected. It must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. I went ahead and developed a radar to track those waves. Oh, and why is that news? Lucky. Uh, being coy today, are we? This radar is about to come in useful on your next expedition. What do you mean, my next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along last time. 
Hmm. I was given a contract with your name on it. The cancellation charge of breaking that contract is over yeah. 20. What? What in the world were you talk you two talking about? Don't be so by the book, Dave. Check the signal for me to test out the radar. Wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's hilarious. Isn't that illegal? Like literally? All right, let's get out there. Follow the signal's location and serve the whole roaster shark head. Oh, it's a dolphin. Uh, okay, I don't speak dolphin. I'm sorry, but I'm thinking you're telling me to follow you. Yes, a dolphin's request. What the heck? Can I? What happens if I drown? <laughs> Slow it down! Alright, got some oxygen there, that's good. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, poison harpoon. Follow the dolphin. Let's go. Hurry up. Oh no. I gotta rescue his girlfriend. Oh, a pink dolphin is caught in the net. Ah, oh, okay, so. No, oh, we gotta use this. That's hilarious. Yeah, that what he said. Perfect. You're, wel you're welcome. It's fine. Now, if a shark comes and eats me, you better remember me and come rescue me, because I heard stories that dolphins actually can rescue humans from sharks, and they can also, also brutally uh, sexualize humans. Wild dolphins. Okay, I'm going to stop. Huh? It seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. What is it, like a dolphin baby or something? A pearl. <laughs> That's gotta be worth a pretty penny. Oh, I see. What the heck is that? Portable oxygen capsule that refills oxygen upon use. Really? it on on that fish I need to go find a shark come here shark had the perfect amount oh my gosh we just we just got a white tip wait do we get it do we not what the hell excuse me okay we got a shark tooth what else we got we're going kind of i think we're going a little too low here man This is not good! Ah! I'm I'm getting out of here. I I am I'm I'm out. I'm out. You know what? I'm just not gonna risk this. I'm out of here. You know what Dave is hurt? Uh hold on. You you get away from me, you, st you stinky. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, 
Oh, got it! Yes! Alright, should we get out of here? I think we ought to get out of here. We're heavy anyways. That was... That was pretty gnarly. <laughs> that was pretty gnarly indeed. Alright, we got... Perfect. Let's go. We should probably go back and... Okay, who's this guy? Is that Ash? Ash <laughs> got you. Hop. You. You know a lot about this giant blue hole. Well, I'm not sure what to say to that, but uh, it's different in there every time. Yes, that's it. It's the best place to collect Marina car. I could complete my collection in this place. Marina car. Ma Marin car. Marina. Jesus Christ. What? Don't tell me you don't know about the highly popular Ocean Life trading cards. Hmm. Marinka. Bro, that's is bro. There's no bro, I'm sorry. That, what are the chances he likes trading cards and it's like Pokemon cards, Ash catch him. He has a I don't know. He has like the same little jacket. You seem quite behind the times. Install the app. Then press here. Touch that. Add a friend. <laughs> Done. Okay, so what do I do now? Mm. Okay, the amazing thing about these Marinka is... You don't really need to do anything special. Okay. Just catch a new fish. You'll get a card. Check the cards every now and then on the app. And you're... D Bro, there's no way that's not Ash. Catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You don't want... Uh, you want... <laughs> Wait, you don't want to be saying the name. I understand. I'll try it out. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Sato. I'm giving my contact info. So hit me up if you have questions. See you then. Choo choo. That's gotta be like a little Easter egg or something. Bro, come on. Those are Pokemon trading cards. Get out of here. <laughs> what in the world? Say that you collect fish and you it's like collecting Pokemon. Hmm. Should I dive again? Follow the signals lost okay. Okay, we should go again and go for that signal. But Alright, let's go. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do that. Giant blue hole, October 5th. Like I said, Wednesday. What do we got here? Possible upgrades. Alright. Oh. Enhanced harpoon level 2. I don't want to get too distracted with these things because we really need to go down there. I need to find myself some, some oxygen. Let's go. We can do this. I give you. If you keep just going down, you could do it. Honestly. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, what the heck? good we're kind of trapped here critical depth we're gonna die Oh my god. Wow! So this is the place! Let's see. Hmm. 
the signals coming from inside. There are letters I've never seen before written on that pillar. If we had a tool of some sort, we could move aside that pile of rocks and try going inside. I think it would be the best to talk. This over with Cobra. Come off for now. Huh. Uh, I thought I heard something. <laughs> We're out of here. That was a close call, man. Sheesh. Found a place with a signal from the Sea People civilization. I can't hold back my academic thirst to check it out. I'm at an important uh, symposi symposium right now. Please talk it over with the Cobra first. I'll come by tomorrow. Huh? Did you get rid of rock piles? Uh, you have to use a bomb, of course. Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? Weren't you talking about a rock pile somewhere deep below? I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's put a little. Th Trust in the sea's regenerative power. Yeah. Just trying to gloss things over again. But there is an issue. The delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to get a delivery from a bomb expert I know. Apparently, the ship's gone off the radar. I think it's sunk. If I could use the drone I ordered, we could retrieve the supplies. Dave, could you go into the sea and retrieve drone materials? How am I supposed to find them in the ocean? It's huge! Delivery boxes are likely to be... So I've been carried by the other, uh, by the ocean currents. Look for a place with ocean currents. That sounds dangerous. This, is this guy, bro. Wrap up your day, boys. Oh, we should upgrade some equipment, to be honest. Can I diver? Yes. Huh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Let's go to the restaurant. Let's go, uh... We gotta go to work! Alright, here we go. Let's go to... The menu. So we're gonna do this. We gotta definitely gotta serve that to her. Perfect. That ingredient swap. Actually, we'll leave it as is. Where is that lady? She left? Hopefully she comes around. Oh, there she is. He's cooking it up, chopping it up, baby. Oh, you're gonna have to try this whole roaster shark head, my lady. Ugh, disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetites. Even so, a promise is a promise. <laughs> it's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark's fat inside the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. It's. Is this ginger? The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. <clears throat> Pardon me. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings states that 
one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. Okay. Let me tell you why I'm here then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. Huh? What do you mean? You still mean to go at it alone, Bancho? This place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I cannot continue working alone, but uh, it's not easy to find people I can trust. Okay, that's what I do nowadays. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. Okay. Employees! Hire employees to reduce the workload. Employees help serve food in the dining area or make cooking food faster. Let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. Press X to post a hiring notice. Press the flyer to begin hiring notice. The following amount will be spent for the hiring notice. Resumes can be spread starting the next day. Huh. Okay. Hiring has begun. Good. The recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Oh no. Come on, come on! Oh, come on, dude. She was talking to me the whole time. Uh, this is getting crazy. Uh, we don't have shark head anymore, man. I'm sorry. It's... Oh, I feel bad for that guy. Oh, he does have. Shoot. Nice. Served to perfection. New recipes added. Ooh. Menu slot, kitchen staff, wasabi, added interior. Oh, this is getting intense now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go. Everybody wants to eat shark head. I'm sorry guys, some of you are gonna have to wait. That's insane how crazy that got. Super busy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna need some staff. Whoa, look at that though. We still got a 3.7 star. Net profit. Some good profit though. For what it was. You haven't quit diving yet, have you? No. Uh, what is it this time? Who some investigating for an important paper? I'm gonna need some help. Give me three blue shells and three brown shells. Okay, but aren't you supposed to do this thing yourself? Are you kidding me? Writing a paper requires a ton of research and investigation. What you're doing is only a very tiny part of it all, so don't let it get to your head. Hurry along. I don't have much time to the deadline. <laughs> what the heck? She's so rude, bruh. What the hell, bruh? All right, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go to the eye diver, and I'm gonna up uh, upgrade my uh, my oxygen tank. <clears throat> Honestly, the main quest is is more important to me. All right, computer chip. Oof, what is this? Blue shell. I guess we'll just, I don't know, get whatever comes. Why aren't we able to grab those now? Like, I don't understand. 
were able to grab them before, so what the heck. Whoa, what in the world? Triple Axe. Picking up new weapons will allow you to collect blueprints. When you reach a certain number of blueprints, you'll be able to craft a new weapon. Oh, Triple Axle. Huh, it's Wild Horse. Okay, I kind of read all that. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to maintain my composure down here. Grab that. Oh, hold on. There's something here. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, just smoked them. To fish tank. Can we put. Hmm. Sure. Alright, what do we got here? Blue shell. We got the brown shells. That's what it was. I mean, we have to dive really deep to 
Get those drone parts. The anglerfish. That's got to be creepy as hell. Hmm. Oh, we've got a starfish right there. Let's go, Dave. Let's go, Dave. Ooh, what is that? Is that a blue sea? Uh... Yeah, it is. What is it saying? What? What is it saying? Okay, stop. Leave me alone. I'm too nervous right now to... I don't want to 
Oh my god. You know what? I'm not even going to risk it. It's not worth it. We're so, so deep under. Alright, I'm going to risk it because I'm an idiot. Should I just leave? I should probably just leave. There it is. The shark is lurking. It's like right there. It's not even worth it. Honestly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? <gasps> what the hell is that? something we're able to move later on, right? Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's get out of here. I mean, we technically got everything. Right? In that one dive. Alrighty. That was harder than I expected. These are hard to find. Well, this isn't bad. Now then, I just complete the delivery to Echo Watcher. Ta-da! Research level gained. Echo Watcher. You don't know Echo Watcher? It's on a, uh, is a mission-based app made to protect the environment. You get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for reaching certain levels. Hmm. Uh, well, you could say they're basically the same thing. You try it out too. If you're interested to see you. So the Echo Watcher app to check on various ecological missions, gather points, and receive various rewards. All right, we should be able to deploy our drone with this. Hmm, you look pretty exhausted. Well, the sea current did knock me around a bit. I see. I'll take a bit of time to repair the drone and deploy it. Please wait a while. Should be done by tomorrow morning. Go about your business until then. Where the current flows. I think that was a pretty successful dive. Most successful dive we've had so far. Huh. Hmm. To the barrack fish. Wrap up your day. We got an applicant. Well, there's an applicant for the Bancho Sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look-see. Oh, I was not expecting an applicant so quickly. <laughs> Let's check out who we have. 
Alright, so press X to check on the hiring arts. A pretty nice resume. Let's hire this person right away. Select. Hire. Cooking 14, serving 35, procure appeal, okay. Sign. Alright, looks like we have our first staff. Gotta be placed. Staff can be placed in the kitchen or the dining area. Add them to the kitchen to cook more quickly. Dining area to food. Okay, I think. Yeah, I think dining is better. Setting the obvious, but things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. There's also training to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. Open the Bacho restaurant. No, not quite yet. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of this. <laughs> New recipe. Awesome. Nice. All right. We go here to menu. We'll do this. Hell yeah. Do this. Woo! Looking good! Let's go! Think we're ready, boys. Let's see how she works. Keep my eye on you on your first day, young lady. Right, what is she doing? Oh my god, this is getting crazy. <laughs> Hello, stop, Dave. Okay, she's working, she's working, she's working. Clean up here. Oh, she's going hard. Hey, look at this. I was not expecting this kitchen to be popping the way it is right now. And people are still getting impatient. Clean up, clean up. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, let's go. Wow, man, look at... Clean up, clean up. Oh my goodness! Hurry up, Dave! She's going, she's going for it. Alright. We're on time, we're on time. Perfection. Wow! Oh my gosh. That was so intense. I, I gotta see the performance for that. We, we messed up on the T there at the beginning. For some reason, the flow just didn't stop. 155, 4.7, not half bad. Could have been a little better, but not half bad. Good morning! Sorry I couldn't come by yesterday because of my symposium. Because of the symposium. Did you speak with Cobra? Well, come and think of it, I got materials and Cobra said uh, he was repairing a drone yesterday. Oh, a bit late, aren't I? <laughs> I repaired the drone just fine thanks to you. Got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Dr. Bacon. Will these do? All right, let's head back to the rock pile. Oh, wait. I have finished uh, starting today. The Cobra shop is officially open. Huh? What's that? Deliveries have stopped, but with the drone uh, in working order, I can transport three types of items in a day. Talk to me and select the Cobra shop to see a list that changes every day. I'll also buy some stuff you don't need. Check out uh, the sell tab as well. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling you'll charge high prices, but it's nice to see 
uh, or it's nice to be able to prepare. <laughs> I won't charge high prices just because I've got the only business here, so don't be afraid to visit often. I forgot to tell you something. When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you will have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give you a management app, which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of the sushi restaurants. You can check the status of your restaurant without re uh, without visiting it. That yeah, sounds handy. Okay, I already linked the app. Why don't you check it out on your smartphone? I'm sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. Just in case there's something with uh, worth documenting inside. Use the camera. A camera, that's right. It'll, keep import it'll be important for research to record important data with photos. Take the camera, and I'll let you know when I find the right place to use it. Well, this game just threw a lot at us. Uh, we've got a uh, management app here. All the stats. Hmm. Dining area, kitchen, staff. Top sales. Okay. And then the other one was this one, the Echo Water. Echo Watcher, excuse me. Deliver the items below. Oh, wow. Really? Mission target. Ooh, research point. Well, that's cool. Echo health bracelet. Blue horn research and protection. I wonder what that does. Alright, so if we go back. <laughs> the calculator, I love that. Um where is the uh this guy's shop at? It's probably with him, right? Ah. Wow. Oxygen tank expansion one time use. Increases maximum oxygen capacity by ten percent. That's not bad. I mean twenty uh twenty bucks, it's not bad at all. And then we can sell stuff as well to him. Hmm. And some of these things you can craft, some of these things you can just sell. Like this. You can just sell it to him. Piece of lumber. I don't know if we can. We can just sell that to him, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we just got to go beyond the rock pile and check out the ancient civilization down under underwater. This game's getting pretty interesting, I must say. What an incredible little indie game. <sighs> Guys, I think we're going to call it quits here. It was a it was an absolute pleasure to be able to check this game out for you guys. And um, I hope you truly enjoyed it. It was super relaxing. I've never really played a game like this, especially here on the channel. I know there was that other game that was kind of similar. What was it called? Uh, I think it was called Dredge or something, but it was more like a horror game. But, you know, it was an indie sort of game. It was based on the ocean. Um, and I kind of missed... I missed out on that one, and I've seen this one. I wanted to try it out and uh, see how you guys received it. But I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor. Drop me a like. Helps out the channel. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one.